Scorpio Moon. Scorpio Moon, welcome. Welcome to your mini reading here in beautiful Balmoral Beach, Sydney, Australia. I love this place. I've just been here all afternoon. I've seen the sun go all the way around. It's dipped behind the horizon line there. And as a result, I've had to put on my scarf and my warm woolly stuff because it's freezing cold. <laughs> I'm cold anyway. But mind you, people are still swimming. Of course, this is Australia. People will swim all year round. Um, now, Scorpio Moon, you are in your final stage of Sadisati. I always check on those things. I always know that where you are Sadisati wise. I just want to say to you, how are you going? I hope you're okay. Um, let's take a look at what I've got covered this time. We'll see, you know, if, if there's any excitement here. What I've been doing for all signs is I've been breaking it into two aspects, future and past. These are the things that we're looking at. So future opportunity, what are we looking at here? Mars and Rahu are sharing Gemini from 7 May 2019 to 22nd June 2019. That's happening in your eighth house. So my goodness, thank goodness. Thank goodness, Scorpio Moon, we've got some good news for you here. This is a great time to travel with your family or friends if you can. Okay, if you can get away, do right um, you want to take care of your health ultimately you want to look at reinventing your diet you want to look at possibly reinventing your exercise schedule uh, or start one if you aren't exercising like me um, I am meditating I'm doing that every day I'm good on that but the uh, exercise hmm, I need to get better um, great time to start meditating I've got a note here yeah if you haven't already and I'm just looking at your chart great time to quit coffee always a great time to quit coffee guys um, not easy, I know, I've done it. Uh, could also be a good time to restructure assets or think about new income streams, okay? Um, money, right? This, when, when the energies aren't brilliant, strategizing. You can always strategize, you can always be getting organized and strategizing, okay? I know a lot about that. I've got a lot of Saturn in my chart. I do a lot of strategizing and organizing, so, um, that's also part of your future opportunity, future that you need to build. And when you come out of Sarisate, you've got good opportunities awaiting you there. So hang in there, guys. Now the past that you've got to deal with. So we're looking at Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8th July, 2019. That's happening in your first house. So this could be, yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're stress and worries. I know, we know, Scorpio me. I mean, I'm, I feel for you if you're going through a tough side of something. I feel for you. Um, yeah, in addition, so it could be more stress and worries in addition to the effects of side of But it's all encouraging you to become more spiritual. And you know, I find that when things are hard, when things are really challenging, when we're really being pushed and squeezed, somehow I do find it easier to let go, extraordinarily. Sometimes I do find that when life's making it really tough, you know, it is easier to let go at that time. So if you're being squeezed, let go. And I've got a note here, you can really master the lesson of letting go. You can really master how to be suspended in time and just be okay with not knowing, right? Being okay with not knowing, it's so amazing. Don't aim for perfection. If you aim for perfection, a lot of pain comes from that. So you can really master how to simply be. If you can achieve that at this time when it's tough, oh, you're going to be flying, you're going to be cruising when things are good and profiting when things are good as well. You'll be covering all ground in relation to your relationship with self and health. Yeah. So now let's do a little check in with Saturn K through next door in Sagittarius. New light is coming through old things. So look out for new illumination in your family or in your place in the family. Okay, so that's just something to look out for. And Scorpio, I mean, as I've been saying to all signs, if you're feeling like you're stuck in some heavy past energies, it's Saturn K through related. And what you want to be doing is you want to be going into the future. You want to be tuning into Rahu, tuning into Mars, tuning into the good side of those energies and seeing what can I create. And I want to create a new future for myself. And I'm going to start that today. So Scorpio Moon, I wish you well and you know I wish you I wish you mastery because you're inside of Sati so I wish you mastery and I wish that you're getting ready for really big big things coming your way so because when you come out of Sati Sati Saturn rewards you so look out for that 
Um, but yeah, I want to thank you so much, Scorpio Moon, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?